guys, it's Morgan, and welcome back to my channel. Today, I'm going to be talking about the Stone Cross Musical Studio Concept Recording. Now, I found out about this from Haley Stern, who's the communications representative from New York Stage Originals, and she sent me a message on Instagram and told me about the album, and she asked me if I would be interested in doing a review for it, and since I love musicals, I thought that was a great idea. If you want to listen to the songs, you can listen to them on Spotify. I already listened to the songs off camera, but before I tell you my thoughts about them, I'm going to read you the summary of the musical that's on broadwayrecords.com. It's the Stone Age, and the land of Arcos is divided into two sides by a fault line. Following the teachings from their ancestors and paintings on cave walls, each believes that the other is dangerous. And so they stay away from each other, keeping to their own side. Stone Cross tells the story of two young lovers whose lives are changed forever when they inadvertently cross the divide. F falling instantly in love, Stoney and Jewel discover that they are more the same than they are different, despite what they had been taught to believe, and start to question what has been painted in stone. Will these stone cross lovers choose a shorter life together or a longer life apart? Now, I don't know about you, but after reading that, I'm really curious to see what happens in this show. So I really hope it gets to go to Broadway. But for now, let's talk about the songs. The beginning of the opening song in Stone is really beautiful and peaceful, and I also thought that the song did a really great job explaining what the musical's about, and it also made me feel like I was watching the opening number of a Broadway show. So I really hope that this show is able to get to Broadway, because I would really love to see it. The beat of the song, Just Out of Reach, made me want to get up and dance. And the song also felt really hopeful. The song also made me think of other I Want songs that are in other musicals. I actually met Telly Leung at the 2017 Broadway Con, and I also saw him in the musical Allegiance. He is really talented, and he did a really great job singing the song, How I Keep My Cool. I thought this song did a great job setting up the friendship between Stoney and Tuff, and it also made me really love their friendship. The song, Nothing in Common, made me feel really sorry for Jewel, since she was about to be in an arranged marriage, but didn't want to be. It was also really sad to hear Jewel and her friends say that it didn't matter if she didn't have anything in common with the person she was arranged with. I think anyone would have the same feelings that Jewel has if they were in this situation. A Father's Love was a really sweet song because you could tell that Stoney's father loved him and wanted to keep him safe, but it was sad to hear about how Stoney's mother left them and how Stoney's father wanted to raise Stoney well so he could make Stoney's mother proud. The song Lost is really beautiful, and it might actually be my favorite song on the album. I'm really curious to see how it's staged, if Stoney and Jewel see each other and know they're from different sides but don't care, or if they only see each other's eyes and don't know they're from different sides yet. Just Like Normal is a really catchy song, and I really love that it's about staying friends no matter what, but it also made me wonder if something was going to happen that was going to test 
Stony and Tuff's friendship. Wanderer was another really beautiful song, and I really loved hearing how meeting Stony affected Jewel. I know that Peg was concerned for Jewel, but it was clear that there was nothing that she could do, and that Jewel was in love with Stony. The song, Me Without You, made me feel really sorry for Tuff, since it sounded like Stony left him to be with Jewel. Stony and Jewel sound like a great couple, but I still felt really sorry for Tuff, so I was hoping that their friendship would be fixed. The song Magma Drama was also really catchy, and it made me wonder what Tuff was planning to do in order to separate Stony and Jewel. I know Tuff wanted to separate Stony and Jewel so he would be able to fix his friendship with Stony, but if there's one thing he didn't think about, it's that if he was able to separate them, that would mean Stony would be angry at Tuff. Just by listening to these songs, I can already tell that I love Stony and Jewel together. And the song I Can't Wait to See You really showed how much they love each other. Even though they're from different sides, nothing can break true love. The song Cave Rock made me feel like I was at a rock concert, and I'm also going to assume that this song is the end of Act 1, since everyone found out about Stony and Jewel, which would make their relationship harder, and that sounds like a good place to end an act. Elle McLemore did a great job singing the song That Dress, and I also thought it was interesting how Peg seemed to have her own reasons for wanting Jewel to go through the arranged marriage, since she said that Jewel was ruining her plan, and then corrected herself and said, our plan, and since she also said that she wanted Jewel's wedding dress. Walk Away With Me was a really beautiful song, and it really made me hope that Stony and Jewel would be able to get away from their respected sides and be together, since the song sounded like they were planning to run away together. The song Fossils Join in Tune was also really catchy, and it reminded me of a country hoedown, but it also made me worried since Jewel was wondering where Stony was, and I was just hoping that Stony would get there in time. I saw Celia Rose Gooding in Jagged Little Pill, and she was amazing in that show. And she also did amazing singing the song, If I Can Sleep. But it was also a really sad song, since Jewel was wondering if Stony was just a dream that she had, and she was wondering if she would find him again if she went to sleep. The song Discovering You was a really great full circle moment since Tuff didn't like that Stony was in love with Jewel and Peg didn't like that Jewel was in love with Stony, but when Tuff and Peg met each other, it was clear that they had the same feelings that Stony and Jewel had. Euphoria was a really beautiful song since it showed how much Stony loves Jewel, but it also made me worried since Stony was saying that something was wrong and that Jewel wasn't breathing. This musical already reminded me of Romeo and Juliet, but this song made me think that even more. The song Breathe was really heartbreaking since it sounded like Jewel was dead and Stony was trying to get her to breathe, which was horrible because I was really hoping that they would be able to be together, but it looks like that's not going to happen. 
In the beginning of the song Discovering, I wasn't exactly sure what was happening, but when Stoney and Jewel were discovered by who I'm assuming was Tuff and Peg, and they said that Stoney and Jewel were both still, I realized they were dead, which is what I was suspecting was going to happen, but it was still really sad. The song Celebrate had a really great message. Love is more powerful than hate. But one thing I was wondering is if Stoney and Jewel actually died or if they survived somehow. I really hope I'm able to see a production of Stone Crossed so I can find out. I'm not entirely sure if Stoney and Jewel died or if they didn't, but based on the song Walk Away With Me finale, I got the idea that they're going to be together forever, which was really nice to know. Thanks for watching, guys! If you listen to the Stone Crossed Musical Studio Concept Recording, let me know what you thought about it in the comments, and let me know what your favorite song was. And if you haven't listened to it, you can go listen to it on Spotify. Also, if you want to see any of my future videos, hit that subscribe button, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.